and welcome to Pet Style Health and Wellness. I'm Jill Cordes, and this girl here, this is Ava. She's very, very shy. Today we're talking about cats and allergies. When you hear those two words in the same sentence, you instantly think of sniffling of the nose, rubbing of the eyes, coughing, sneezing whenever someone's in the vicinity of a cat, right? Well, little do we know that cats also suffer from allergies, and unfortunately, they suffer in silence. Sometimes it can show when your cat's chewing or itching profusely on their skin. There's all sorts of signs and symptoms that we might not even know to look for. So we're here at the Center for Specialized Veterinary Care in Long Island, and we're going to talk to the doctors here about how to tell if your cat is suffering from allergies and how to help them. Um, you know, we wanted to discuss with you a little bit about allergies in cats. You'd be really surprised. About 15 to 20 percent of all cats in the United States have allergies. And what do they tend to be allergic to? You know, they can be allergic to a lot of different things. There are several different types of allergies that we see in cats. Probably the most common would be similar to what we would see in a dog would be flea allergy. Okay. Flea allergies in cats tend to happen all year round in the southern or the warmer parts of the country. And then up here in the northern parts of the country, we see it more seasonally but it's definitely a very, very common allergy. When cats have inhaled allergies, they're usually allergic to very similar things that we are, but they don't manifest it like we do. They can get very, very itchy skin, and they can also get problems breathing, and they actually get asthma or allergic asthma. Very, very dangerous in a lot of cats, and those types of things are pollens to grass, trees, plants, same things as us, wow. animal danders, even wool or feathers in the pillow, they can be allergic to your dog or your rabbit, things like that. Oh my, so and even like hay fever season can apply to a cat? It really can. And things in the household that you may not think of, dust. And one really important thing, and I'm going to have to get on my horse here, but cigarette smoke. It's not just an irritant to the airway, it can actually irritate them so much that if they have allergy symptoms and asthma symptoms, cigarette smoke is gonna make that much, much worse. Wow. But they can also be allergic to that. And another type of allergy in cats is actually food allergy. And so they also get very itchy from food allergies, but also have intestinal symptoms associated with that too. So they may have some vomiting or diarrhea or some weight loss if they're allergic to food. But a lot of times it can just be itchiness in the skin. So then the primary symptom for a cat allergy is, is the cat scratching him or herself constantly. Itchiness, yep, Spe itchiness. Special places? Um, cats can get itchy almost everywhere and sometimes you may actually find little bumps on their skin if you feel them. Cats are kind of covered all over head to toe with fur so there's not that bald spot kind of on their belly where you can see what's happening with their skin. You know, is it harder to diagnose? You may not actually see the redness exactly so you may not see a sore or redness on your cat and some cats don't even like to be petted or especially on their belly so if you find them itching you may not be able to see that there's actually a scratch or a sore as a result of that. There are some less common allergies like contact allergies. So if they come in contact with certain things, some types of plants, rubber plants sometimes, oh, really? yeah, they get, rubber you know, plant. like they have a reaction to certain things just like we might. And some, a rubber plant is one? Sometimes a rubber plant, sometimes their, their, cat litter, their cat bowl, their food bowl. So it's difficult to tell when it's a contact allergy, but yeah, they can be allergic to things that their skin touches. If someone suspects their cat has an allergy and they haven't been able to quite figure it out with the vet, what do you suggest? That's a good point. You know, they, their cat is itchy. What's going on? So they'll go to their regular veterinarian mm -hmm. or their family vet who will probably have a really good systematic way of trying to figure it out. But one of the greatest frustrations in veterinary medicine is why is an animal itchy? <laughs> and so out of that sprung this wonderful specialty of veterinary dermatology and allergies. And here at the center, we have a wonderful dermatologist Great. who we refer a lot of people to when their regular veterinarian is having has reached that limit where okay. they just can't find it. So why don't we take Ava to go see Dr. Yeah. White Withers, our awesome dermatologist. Dr. White Withers, how are you? Hello. Hi. Trudell brought Hi. Ava down the hall Hi, for Ava. me. And I understand Ava is here for a different problem, but we wanted to see how you inspect and, 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 and try and determine if a cat has allergies. For all we know, she could have them. You're actually a dermatologist. Mm -hmm, There's not mm -hmm. a ton of you out there, about mm -hmm. 200 in the country. Right. Um, if you were inspecting someone like Eva, Ava and you came across lesions or something, what would that tell you? One, there's a skin. There's something abnormal to the skin, and cats manifest their skin infection differently from dogs. Okay. The first thing on the cat, I usually look at the ears. They tend to lose um, hair on the tip of their ear. Sometimes it's benign, but sometimes it indicates that the cat is not feeling well. Cats tend to show a lot of their illness in their eyes. Hmm. She has what's called epiphora. That means she's tearing a lot, and that could be a problem. Cats 
when they show their itchy effect, they lick their body. They, we call it excessive grooming. Mm. And so what they do, they, if you notice on the cat's tongue, they have what's called little projections on their tongue. Come on, open up. Come on, there. And there are sharp little oh, yeah. spikes. And when they r groom a lot, they, they actually remove the hair and create lesions on their body. Mm. And we call it eosinophilic granuloma complex. Show us how you would do a test on a cat. Okay, for a cat, it's similar to dogs. I do a skin scrape, get rid of the hair, and remove some of the flakes, same as in the dog. The other test I do on a cat is I use my comb. Okay. And what I do, and I do it on dogs too, I comb the hair. Ooh, look at all that dander. Exactly, to find out one, the extent of the dander that's there, and how that much thing? hair is this pet shedding. Does that feel good? So when you look at this, see this pet is shedding quite a bit. More than hair. it should be? Yeah, and has a lot of dander. It could be a manifestation of the internal problem that this cat is having. Well, Ava, you have been a great patient letting us uh, show other cat owners what the vets will do when uh, searching for an allergic problem. We're going to let Tridell take, uh, take you back. Thank you. If you look at this picture, this cat looks completely normal from this yeah, angle. Yeah. But when you look at this pet, if you notice how this cat has lost the hair. Right. On the ears, if you notice, it's very sparse. Yeah. And these are what we call miliary crust. What exactly is miliary dermatitis? Is that itchy skin? It's not itchy skin. There are actually little pimples that comes up on the, the cat's body and they crust over. Mm. So when you put your fingers on there, they feel like little needles. We call uh -huh. them pinpoint. Wow. There are some cats that when they're allergic, I told you about how they scratch. We call it pretty head and neck. They're very itchy from their head up. Mm -hmm. and they create sores because mm -hmm. their nails are very long. When cats are allergic, they have these ulcers and sores in their mouth. Poor baby. And we call them granular rodent ulcers. A lot of the owners will notice that their pet, the food will fall out their mouth or they salivate a lot because oh, they have all those baby. rodent ulcers. Poor guy. Okay. Wow, This that. is a reaction of, the, I showed you the, those sharp spikes on the tongue of the cat when yeah. they lick themselves excessively. This is a chronic reaction. This is not acute, something that happens yesterday. This has been going on for months. Well, we're so glad that there are a few hundred dermatologists across the country, that's it, pet dermatologists, Thank to, you. Uh, to help troubleshoot when uh, owners are exasperated as are their feline friends. Thank you. you know, I never realized how awful a cat allergy can be, but the thing is if you suspect your cat does have an allergy, you definitely want to take it to the vet because it's not going to get better on its own. Thanks for watching.